Uh, in this video, hopefully I'm going to show you how to service a uh, Rogers White, or White Rogers, uh, 183760-000 gas water heater control valve assembly. Okay, I've got it partially disassembled because it's way faster to show you. Like this. First thing you want to do is disconnect this probe. There are four screws. Hopefully you can see one, two, three, four. I've taken three of them out. This one's the one for the ground. Remove this. And this will hang loose. Next, you want to pop the front cover off. Front cover off. You do that by popping six little clips around the side. I'll show you them. There, 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 here, and here. What I did was took a screwdriver, actually a little wedge down in beside each one until I hit all six and then pulled this apart and then this. I'm cheating here because I'm going to take this apart. Okay, so then that will come off and this display panel will be stuck inside it. I removed the two screws so that I could move that aside and then have this assembly available to work on. These are the solenoids that control the valves. They are soldered to this PCB at four points. So to get it off, I uh, applied my soldering iron to each of these points one by one and simultaneously pried up on the edge and gradually it will pry up and you'll be able to get this off. And at that point you can set this assembly aside like that. So now you're left with this piece which is the gas valve assembly plus the solenoids. The solenoids are held on by a plate with two screws. You just remove the two screws and the plate will come up. You can pry it up. It comes out like this. And you've got two solenoids here that are free from the solder from the PCB. And this control or um, assembly is held onto this back plate with a couple of uh, pins there and then held down by the solenoids on this side. So you can lift it up and then remove, uh, it'll come apart. There are some grooves in here that try to hold this into the back plate. Um, you can probably see them along there. Okay, so the solenoids, I don't know whether one's different from the other or not. So I took them both off at the same time and stuck them in the assembly where they were supposed to go so that I kept them in order. Anyway, let's put that aside. So now we're left with this assembly. You'll see four screws here and two screws here. Remove these four screws and then remove these two screws. This is on the solenoid side. You can leave the other side alone. My problem with this was that when the uh, sol solenoids were closed and the valves were supposed to be closed, it would leak a little bit of gas. So when you open this up, you can see the back plate and two solenoid uh, valves and this plastic rubber uh, gasket. It has a correct orientation. There are two uh, pins that uh, allow it to sit properly. So you cannot get it in backwards simply will not go properly. Um, you'll probably notice on mine 
are a couple indentations here and here, here and here, where they run into these little bumps from the screws on the end. Um, so just set that aside. Make sure it looks good. Uh, should be clean and not torn. I was very careful when removing it from here to make sure it didn't tear. You know, in my case, this is what the inside looks like. You've got a little um, screen in here, so you can make sure that's clear. In my case, the, the faces of these two valves were slightly uh, covered in some sort of corrosion material or corroded material. So I took some um, 600 sandpaper and sanded them in a circular pattern so that it uh, so to remove all of the debris from both of them so they're clean now. I also took some 600 paper and went over these the seats for the valves to make sure that they're clean. They had a little crap on them as well. So now these should seal up nicely. So reassembly is the reverse of disassembly. Uh, I'd say put this gasket on first the big hole and the small hole. Um, these valves are going to go on next. And you can, or I'm not really sure here. Having only done this once. Okay, so there we go. And the reverse assembly is reverse of disassembly. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is put these two screws back on. Uh, there are two types of screws, short and long. The long ones go on these corners. The two short ones go in these locations here. All the rest of them are long. I'm not going to do this all back up again because I'm going to have to do it properly with some screwdrivers. These things are torqued pretty tight. Um, when, you t when you tighten them back up again, make sure you tighten them down to the same proximate force you use to take them off. That's pretty tight. Um, this is an aluminum housing, so don't use a huge amount of force or you'll strip the threads and then you'll ruin it. Once these are back on, you want to put your uh, solenoids back on. Uh, probably put this back on. You can get these two pins to line up with the holes on the housing. And you can, I promise. And once that's done, this may be a, an edit moment. There we go. This will seat back down in here. And everything will go back into place. Tighten all the screws back up. Well, you probably go tighten all the screws back up. But then put the board back on here. And I'm going to reassemble it by applying heat to each of these. Um, actually, I'll clean the pins off first. Clean the solder off the pins. Put the pins back on the board and then solder it back together. And uh, once that's done, it should work fine. <laughs>